What do you do when you find the demon lord living under your floor of your restaurant? Why, you hire her. And thus we have, there's a demon lord on the floor. Amon Patricia is a powerful demon lord who one day finds herself on the receiving end of a vicious attack by the Clan of Light. Fleeing to fight another day, Patricia finds herself in the human world. Looking to blend in, she immediately seeks work and finds herself on the doorsteps of the humming dining restaurant. Patricia falls in love with their cooking immediately, and now the head chef has plenty more on his plate as he must sate the demon lord's appetite while shaping her into the perfect employee. Her bottomless appetite will test the sanity of her boss, Aruma, as he tries to make her an exemplary employee and fill her stomach. The demon lord also has a me and mushroom that manifests as a cute and trustworthy girl, and both of them live together underneath the restaurant. As the clans of light and dark find and either try to join or destroy her, the manager turns them into either more employees or dedicated customers. There's a demon lord on the floor is one of those rare non-isekai manga that take place in our modern world. The original manga is serialized in Media Factory's monthly comic Alive magazine in Japan. The series is licensed by Seven Seas Entertainment and started in December of 2014 and currently there are eight volumes. Also right now there are seven printed in English the eighth volume due out in June of 2020. The genres it covers is comedy, etchy, fantasy, slice of life, supernatural, and seinen. Is it a deep and fascinating, insightful read? Heck no. Is it fun to read? You bet your mushroom top lolly it is. That's it for this summary review. Uh, the manga is available anywhere you can find your manga fix. And it's, there's a demon lord on the floor.